In my years as a professional, I've noticed that I'm the type of person who will take time at the start of a new task to really deeply study and very meticulously plan the steps I'm going to take to implement it. I've noticed as well that there are some people who get really frustrated about the way I do things. And they think I'm unduly delaying things, you know, that I'm a victim of analysis paralysis. I get hurt when people think that of me because I truly believe that this is the best way to do things. So there seems to be a conflict between people who prefer planning and people who prefer to take immediate action. Some people have a strong bias for action and are not comfortable not doing anything. Some other people have a strong leaning towards planning things out and are not comfortable taking action without a clear plan. One kind scoffs at the weakness of the other. Now, those who have a bias for action think planners are lazy. Planners, on the other hand, look down on the other as acting without thinking. We all know that both extremes are wrong. Both approaches, when combined, is perhaps closer to the best approach. There is clearly a need to plan. And of course, there is a point when planning ends and aggressive action is taken all the way to completion. We need to find the right balance for these two extremes. The ideal situation is for us to take time to make a clear plan before taking action. And when it is time to act, that we act decisively until completion of the plan. The book of Proverbs may help us sort things out. It has this to say about planning and taking action. It said, prepare your work outside, get everything ready for yourself in the field, and after that, build your house. Now, this verse talks about getting things ready before doing the work, just like when you're preparing to build a house. The best thing to do first is to make sure everything needed for the work is ready before actually starting to build. This is true with building a house. The same is true in doing your work in your profession. So I say, plan your work diligently, carefully, be as thorough as you possibly can, but set a deadline and you need to set a point when you simply get into action. Do both tasks well and your chances of success in your job is higher. You see, planning your work and in the midst of the action, faith matters too.